Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Casual706 here, back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers, Power of the Primes, Deluxe Class, Terracon, Cutthroat. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got cool artwork as always of Cutthroat there, flying in the background with a bunch of other little sparks and stuff going on. Looks like the Power of the Primes symbols all around him. We have the actual toy in package. The name Cutthroat, ages 8 plus in three different languages, deluxe class in three different languages, Hasbro logo, Transformers in red writing going up the right side of the pack, and again we got that Generations logo right there in the top right hand corner. Now we're around to the back of the package here. We've got a picture of the robot mode for Cutthroat. We have the Vulture mode for Cutthroat. Says it's going to take about 11 steps to change him from his robot to vulture mode and vice versa. Right here they're showing uh, product placements of Megatronus, Solus Prime, and Quintus Prime. Now I recently just picked them up. I'll be doing a review on those in a little bit. So you guys be sure to stay tuned to my channel so you don't miss out on that. Now they're showing right here that what you can do is the little hand piece that comes with Cutthroat. You can take the little Prime Masters and click them into it and use it as a chest shield, kind of giving him more power. Now in the top left hand corner here, we've got a real quick bio for Cutthroat. The bio reads, how will the merciless Terracon shock trooper wield the power of the Primes? Anywho, that's what's up with the packaging. Now we're going to get to the good part, bust this open. All right, so out of the packaging, first of all, we get a couple of familiar things. We get these little collectible art cards. Uh, this one is the red variant for this. I believe that you can get 13 different variants for these uh, cards. The red variant is gonna be combined with Megatronus, and the card says that he sheds the spark of his foes. Uh, it also comes packaged with double-sided instructions. Instructions are going to show how to change him from his vulture to robot mode and vice versa. And it's also going to show how to change him into one of the limbs for the combiner Abominus or whichever combiner you choose to use him with. Now taking a real quick look at the figure, he's got these two little weapons here. Now the weapons, you can take the little chest shield if you want to. And you see you got tabs right here on either side of the little vulture head. You also got tabs on the hands here, right there on either of these thumbs that you choose. So all you do is just click that little tab into the side of the thumb, right there. But that's what you can do there as far as displaying the little hand thing. You can use it as a chest shield for cutthroat, like that. Or, if you wanted to, he's also got these little arm ports right here. So you can take the little peg and put it forward and do like that. So it could be like a, an extended shield or a giant fist for him, however you want to do it. And then since you got the little thumb hole right there, you could even take his little blaster here and put it into that if you wanted to. So he could do like that. Now, you can also just straight display this little blaster here in his hand, like this. It's just a little five millimeter peg, so you can do it like that and display it in his hand. Or you could use that side port if you wanted to for that as well. And he could have two, two side arm wielded weapons like that. So. Those are your methods of displaying the weapons in the robot mode. I love how they did with these guys. The paint scheme seemed to be a lot better than they did with the Combiner Wars figures. There's a lot more detail, shiny paint on them, Decepticon symbols. Uh, we got blue and chrome and black down here. It's just a lot more detailed feeling than, than the Combiner Wars figures were. Now this guy uh, I'm especially fond of because he's got these wings. Now around to the back here you see he's got a huge wingspan with the wings fully extended like that. There's all kind of posability options. The wing folds right here and then it's got a back fold right there. So you could have them straight back if you wanted to or you can kind of cock them out and 
have them posed any kind of way you want to like that. Now articulation with this guy, we got some ball joints up at the arm, so you'll be able to get some high arm lifts. Of course, since he's got these wings going on the back, not going to be able to get all the way around. Uh, at the bicep here, he's got a swivel point, so you'll be able to rotate the bicep all the way around. And then he's also going to have a little elbow joint right there, so you'll be able to bend the elbow as well. Now the hands are pre-molded hands with 5mm holes in them, so you're not going to be able to get any individual articulation out of fingers or anything. But nice range of motion out of the arms. Now down at the legs here, you got ball joints, so you get some high kicks forward, sideways, and backwards on the figure like that. He's also got a little swivel point at the thigh, so you can get a full rotation out of that. And he's of course got a knee joint. Now these feet don't do a whole lot of moving around. They're kind of set in place. So you don't have any side to side ankle tilt or forward ankle tilt. Now his waist does have a rotation point. So you'd be able to get that all the way around like that. Now to transform this guy, we're going to collapse the uh, legs onto themselves like this. And do the same thing with that other leg. They just kind of pull out and click up here like that. This, uh, once you have the legs clicked together, you can pull this little tail down back here. Go ahead and get these legs situated forward. Kind of like that. The uh, arms just kind of, well, well, you can take the hands, of course, fold them in. And then the arm is just going to kind of peg into the side here. And do the same thing with that other one. Fold that hand in. And there's a little peg hole here if you can make it out right there. And he's got a peg on the arm. So you just kind of peg those arms in. Just like you did with Swoop. They're just going to kind of fold up like that and peg into the side. The vulture head whoop, is very fragile. <laughs> but you just kind of fold the vulture head up. So the head is super flimsy. Be careful with yours. But you can pull it up and get it over top of the robot head and that's what you get there as far as the vulture mode with this guy. I'm bringing it a little bit closer. The legs kind of keep unpopping here, but anywho. So that's what you get there with his vulture mode. Now the little mouth I believe should open. Jesus! Yeah, the mouth does open. Everything just pops loose up up top here cutthroat is super loose made but you can't get a little jaw open there so see so you get a little jaw right there and then i think the oh yep yeah. and the little thing folds up there so you get a little mohawk on the vulture so that's what's up with that dude now you got a little port here that you can use a smaller hole on the weapon here to peg in like that and this is not very very well made i wonder if this head was supposed to go somewhere anyway so you kind of end up with the blaster pointing right at his beak i can't get my head to to fold straight up the whole head for the vulture is just like super flimsy now if you look on the back of cutthroat you got a couple of little uh, peg holes right here that if you wanted to, you could take Titan Master figures and kind of peg them into that to, to display them kind of like riding on the back. You also got some peg holes on the wing too. So it looks like a couple of Titan or Power Master figures could uh, ride on the back of him in his Vulture Mode kind of. So The Vulture Mode looks real cool. I like it. Uh, however, the issues with the head are kind of turning me off on the vulture mode <laughs> so then if you wanted to you could use those arm port ports again to display the weapon kind of like that and then there's also the option you got some peg holes on the back of the uh back of the vulture mode here so you could kind of peg the little hand thingy in yep just like so if you play with this heavy, you can get that little hand thing seated on the back 
And then if you wanted to, you could take this little placeholder. I forgot to burn, pull that out. This is an actual Titan Master. It's just a little plastic placeholder in there. But supposedly you're supposed to be able to put this on the back. You can put a Titan Master in there seated like he's riding on the back of Cutthroat in the Vulture mode kind of there. So anyway, I'm going to stick that off to the side. Now to get this into the limb mode, we're just going to kind of fold the head down out of the way here. We're also going to get these legs back out of the way and fold the tail out of the way here. I'm just going to kind of get the legs back the way they were in the robot mode like this. All right. And then the uh, wings, we kind of get them out of the way here. Then this uh, tab will go forward. And I would assume that this is how it's going to be for the leg mode on Abominus. So you put the little foot peg in and that's what's going to, that's how he's going to be for a leg mode for Abominus. Now I am actually going to use him as an arm. So to do the arm mode, keep everything the way it is. I'm just going to open these legs back up here and close them back on to themselves. If I can get it, there we go open them up and then click them back together and we will turn them sideways I guess like this and I'm gonna fold those wings out then we'll pull the little connector tab down to the side here and there you go then you take the little hand thing that comes with him I'm gonna put the little placeholder back in like that Fold it forward, that'll be the hand. And pull these little fingers out, like that. So that says arm mode for Abominus. I've actually got my hunger now. I'll take the, uh, just take it and slide it into the little connection port here, like that. And there you go. There he is in the R mode for Abominus. Now legs keep popping loose and then I, of course the complaints with the, the head mode. So that's how I'm going to have mine displayed like that. So. All right. And that would conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers Deluxe Class Cutthroat. If you guys like the video, be sure to click the like button. Also, leave me a comment. It's always a lot more fun to do these things when people are commenting, giving you feedback on the videos. Plus, I just love talking with the community, finding out what you guys are into and whatnot. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any Transformer unboxings in the near future. With all that said, I appreciate the view again, guys. Casual 706, out.